troika countries, the US, Norway and the UK have threatened to pull out of supporting the implementation of the peace deal due to lack of progress. The international donors now say the unity government needs to revitalize the peace in order to demonstrate its commitment to restoring peace. The disrespect and contempt with which the government treats our assistance and the signal it sends about the government's commitment to peace will affect and is affecting our willingness to provide support in other sectors, including uh, this peace process. sub Sudan's government says it wants all groups included in the implementation of the peace agreement to move forward and insists that it is serious about the 2015 peace deal. Egon seriously reiterates its obligation and responsibility to fully implement the agreement and upholds the directives of the Igat heads of state and government for the revitalization of the agreement. Many here, however, remain skeptical of the government's promises as many promises have previously gone unfulfilled. But the African Union body monitoring the implementation of the peace deal says it's hopeful the revitalization forum will bring the peace process back on track. I am hoping that the, the right revitalization of the peace agreement, if it happens, then there will be more activities of peace and reconciliation rather than more activities of war and, uh, and flight. According to the 2015 peace deal, elections should be held by June 2018 to put in place a democratic government and bring with it an end to the transition period the same year. Experts say elections are unlikely to take place next year and the transitional period is therefore expected to continue. So the question of how long this will go on remains, while it is hoped the revitalization forum will help bring an end to the violence here. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.